Hi, how are you? I am fine. You are fine. So, how was your day? And they, you know, right now I was having a group call in which they have a, they have my classmates. Who oh, is it? Okay. Nice group call. Mm-hmm. And with so many GIFs, mm -hmm. I was trying to see how many GIFs are they going to send me. Okay, fine. So have you done your homework, dear? Yep. So, any doubts in that? No. Did you go to all answers correct? I asked my father. Hmm. One or two he corrected. Hmm. And rest, rest is all correct. Rest is all correct. Okay, good. So, shall we start? Yeah. Can we start a new topic today? Yes. I want the new topic as uh, factors though. Because in that worksheet about factors, Hmm? I have gotten all the factor questions correct. Wow, Just then luck. then I'm not to, then I'm not going to start that topic. Eh, why? Because you got all answers correct. Then what are you going to do? I have started one topic already. Do you remember? Uh computer. Uh, what happened? Nothing. Computation. Computation of operation. Oh, addition and subtraction. That's already. I've done it. You have done it? Have you finished the worksheet? Yeah. Which one? The one to four. I mean, not, not one to four. That, that worksheet. Which 2.1? No, not that one. The online worksheets. Online worksheets. Okay. Fine. So, let me teach you this. You have many kinds of problems you'll get in your Olympiad exams based on this. Okay. Then, why? No interest today. What? No interest. Addition subtraction, I know. You know, but let me ask you one thing. I want to know where how you are going to solve this. Okay, ready? Yes. Are you showing your home? No, my father said to have a chair. So there's another question yet. First of all, Ready? Yep. Okay. Four plus or minus. And so plus, we are going to do this plus or minus. addition, addition, plus. Okay. Okay. You so need I, to fill this blank. Oh, so that means you. Oh, I need to fill the blank with my own number. No. Then. Oh, I understood. You are gonna give me the answer. I'm not going to give you a complete answer. No, you said that you are going to give me the... Yes. The three-digit answer at the below, and then I have to fill in two blanks. So, 2 plus 0 equals to 4. No, that means in the first equation, blank will come 2. Okay. And then the second one will come 3. Very good. Fine. Let me give you one more. Do you know properties of addition to your... Properties of addition. They only taught me addition in school. Okay, then I'm going to teach you that. Okay. But then a property of addition is for I think I know one property. It is we will get a bigger number. Yeah, correct. So if you get a bigger number, what do you mean by that? Addition. If you get a bigger number, is it addition? 
Yeah. If you get a smaller number, then it is subtraction according to you, right? Yeah. First, let me teach you one by one. If you know it, it is just like a revision. Okay. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. First, let me teach you addition of four digit. I know that. I know that, you know. Let me teach you the properties without using can. You know this, right? Yeah, without using carry over. Yeah, correct. Without using carry over, or you can say carry anything. Without using carry over. Okay. Let me take one example. So I'm going to give you only five seconds. You are going to tell me the answer. Ready? Ready, Pakka? Yes. Yes. Let's see. Three, four, two, one. Plus five, two, six, three is equal to what? Only five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Done. Your time is over. Yeah, tell me. Tell me. Okay, I'm not sure if I get it correct because it is only five seconds. Mm -hmm. So the answer is 8,684. Wow, very nice. Awesome. Correct. Okay. Super. Okay. So what we are, can you explain me dear, what we are go, doing in this? Let me write it one below the other. So it is easy for you to explain. Why I'm asking you the basic explanation is why we are doing a problem, complex problem, then it is easy for you to understand. This is positive sign. Yeah. Now tell me what we are doing. We are doing addition. Yeah, that is fine. I know that. So here also you can see the place values, right? So yep. this is your ones place, correct? That's thousand. Tens. tens. Oh my God, where are you? After ones? And then after ones comes tens, then hundreds. Correct, correct. Mm -hmm. After hundreds? Thousands. Yeah, thousands. So first what we are doing? First, we are adding the numbers in the ones place, correct? Yep. Yeah. So I'm writing four over here. Then I'm doing this addition in this direction. That is right to left. Oh, right to left. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So I got the answer as 8684 in this. Now, yes. let us see how we are doing the same thing using carry are you feeling sleepy no. don't worry we'll finish off soon and we'll play some games yay i'm not feeling sleepy just a bit tired after coming from school it's okay fine now i'm going to give you 10 seconds you are going to solve this problem and you're going to tell to me is equal to what Okay, well, let me just write the equation. Your time starts now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hey. nine, ten. It's finished. It's time up. One minute. There's one more minute. One more minute. Oh my God. Now I got the answer correct. Okay. 9,000. Just a minute, wait. 335. How much? 9,335. 9,335. Are you sure? Okay. Let me check with this. First, what I am doing, I know this is my ones, tens. I am repeating this because this place values are very important. Yes. Okay. Ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. First, what I am doing, I am adding these two numbers. What is 8 plus 7, dear? 15. 15, right. 15 is a double digit number. So but one I have, eight. yeah. According to the addition condition, you should place only a single digit number. 
if you have a double digit number you have to send it to the next house correct yeah now what is 6 plus 6 12 which is plus 1 equals to 30 yes perfect so here i am going to write 3 yeah i am sure and then when there is a double is a number mm -hmm. one will go to the next house and then 8 plus 4 is 12 which is again 13 mm -hmm. so then 3 will come down and then one will go carry over 5 mm -hmm. plus 3 is 8 which is mm -hmm. plus 1 equals to 9 yes so here i have to write 3 and here i have to write Nine. So this is the answer I got, right? Yes or no? So what I am doing, I am just adding the numbers in the ones place if it is more than 10. More than 9, then I am sending it to the next house. Okay. Yes? Now. Okay. First, so now I have done. I need to cross check whether my answer is right or wrong. Yes or no? Yes. So, how we are going to cross check? Um, so, I'm imagine in your I'm school test, yeah. wait. In your school test, you have only one minute left. Okay. You need to check five questions. Whether it is right or wrong. So, how we are going to check? Uh, check a bit faster. How? I don't know how. You don't know? See. What I am doing, I am just checking this answers are very easy, right? Without using a carry. Yes or no? Yes. So, coming to here, 8 plus 7. I know 7 plus 7 is 14. Yeah. Do you remember? But, yeah, 7 plus 7 is 14. So, okay. I use the same trick. Okay, so 7 plus 7 equals to 14. And now it's saying, in this case, it's saying... 8. So that means 7 plus 7 plus 1. Yes, it is 15, right? So yeah. I got the last number as 5. So there are 70% chances that my answer would be correct. Right. right? Now, how to cross check the next one? I know 6 plus 6 is 12, right? But I have a carry over here. So I am writing 3. Wow, very nice. Awesome. Correct? Okay. Yes. So, by checking this, so you need to check this side and this side. How are you going to check this number? What is 5 plus 3? 8. 8. But when I look these numbers, I can see this or double digit answers. This will give me double digit answers, right? So, in here, if I write 8, then my answer would be wrong. Okay. Yes. We have so, to also look after the carryover. The yeah. mother will only not go to, the mother will lonely not leave the baby in the house. It will also take it within the supermarket when there's no one else. Yes, so correct. Nine. Yeah, that's it. Did you understand how to cross check? Yes. Yes. So, okay. Let me do one problem. And you have to say whether what I have done is right or wrong. Ready? Okay. You are feeling so sleepy today. Yeah. I can see that. Five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, one, two. Yes. Red. So. 8 plus 2, 9 and 10. Okay, mm -hmm. like the last one is correct. 7 plus 1. Yep, this is correct. 8 plus 6. Why are you taking so much of time? Okay, so this is 14. This is wrong. The hundred is wrong. 
the hundreds, hundreds place. Okay, then it should be four. Okay, then then seven plus five. Um, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and also the thousands place. It should be twelve. Yes, correct. So what you are going, what you have to do is, you just write some random numbers, okay, and you add and keep the answer. Later, you just on your timer, okay, and take one or two minutes to check at least 10 to 15 questions. Ma'am, but then my laptop does not have a timer. And my mother no. and father are, uh, are, and my mother and father are always busy looking at their phone. <laughs> okay. Do you have a clock in your house? Clock. Yes, but the problem is in which room I am studying, there is no clock. There is no clock. Then, okay, you do one thing. You just solve all the problems in this room and you just go where the clock is. You know, right? Yeah. The minute hand, it yeah. will be doing... It will be tick, tick, more tick. long and the hour hand will be small. Yes. So, you just look at the minute hand and think, for example, if it is 3.15... Oh, okay. so, so if you're talking about time, then yes. I have a then I have a, a type of thing. I have a type of clock in my laptop. I thought you were saying the hanger clock. No, 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 nothing like that. But that then I have right now it's 6.15. 6.15. So yes. imagine you are sitting for 6.15 to do some problems. You finish doing by 6.30, right? Then you take out two minutes of time from that and you cross check whatever the problems you have done is right or wrong. Okay. okay, by using this method. Did you understand? Yes. Yes. Now we are going to start a small property of addition. Okay. Properties of addition. You can note it down here this way. Okay, so I'm going to teach you order property of addition. Okay, Anika, you do one thing. First, listen to me. Once you understand, you can copy it. Fine? Okay. So, what do you mean by order? Order means ascending or descending order. Mm -hmm. Then, any other? Mm -hmm. No idea. No idea. Okay. Let me take one example to make you understand. Okay. So I have taken some random numbers, something like this. Okay. If someone asks me to do this, what I'm thinking is I fail rather than adding 6,000 first, I fail. Let me add this too. Then, whatever the answer I get, I'm going to add it to this bigger number. Yes. Will you think the answer will change? No, it will stay the same. Yeah, that is the meaning of order property of addition. You can segregate the properties, segregate the order. For example, segregate is nothing but dividing. Seg For seg 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 segregating. Segregating. It's nothing but dividing. What I'm doing, I have these three numbers. So what I'm doing, I have to choose two numbers at a time, right? So I'm not choosing this two. What yeah. I'm doing, I'm going to choose some people one, three, are, four, five. Some people are very lazy to do these sums. So they yes. choose two smaller numbers. Yes, just like me, right? Yeah. So what I'm doing, I'm choosing smaller numbers, then I'm adding it. I'll get one bigger number, right? So I'm adding that bigger number to this. Okay. So I'll get the same answer. Right? That is the meaning of order property of addition. Did you understand? Yes. Any doubts? No. 
100 percent yes 100 percent good okay then will you do this problem and tell me the last answer just a minute wait okay do it Ma'am, I know hmm? the answer. Yes, tell me. It's one million. Hmm? One minute. You can put it in the chat box here. You like chatting, right? Okay. Yeah. Yes? Let me just send you. Yeah. Maybe I just send you the number form. What happened? Do you need my help? I'm just noting down the answer. I send you. Okay. Very good. Correct answer. Nice. Did you understand how to do? Yes. Yes. You can write it. Order property of addition is a thing, but the sum of the numbers will be same even if you change the order of the numbers. You can take this as example. I'll just complete this example. Sorry. I'm writing. Yeah, write it here. Is it done? I'm writing. I'm writing the sum of the numbers will be same even if we. Yes, ma'am, done. Then, the next property is grouping property of addition. Yes. So, can you tell me what is grouping, dear? Multiplication. Multiplication? No. Division? Mm -hmm. No idea. No idea. Do you have a group of friends? Of course. Of course. So, do you like groupism? Groupism, what does that mean? 
Groupism is nothing but you select only some kind of like only one to two friends and you will not speak with others. No. No. So you are a very good girl. Sometimes that groupism thing happens with me. Mm -hmm. Why? I just don't know. Like not, not, not with me, but with others. Why? I don't know that. How would I know? Because they choose only some people, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Even if they choose only some people, like all our friends, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me tell you in a simple way. So this is a class, the black one. Yeah, okay. Not black one, this big circle is a class. Okay, okay. here there are some people who do groups. Okay. Okay. Okay, here there are some people who don't like to do groups just like you. They want each and every one because they consider all the people in the class as friends okay okay but as a whole what is this a circle not a circle it is a classroom ah. right you forgot this is what classroom okay as a whole it is a classroom whether you people do groups or not, no one will bother about it because it is a it is what classroom. Okay. Classroom will not change. Yes. Even if you have groups or if you don't have groups, the classroom will not change. Correct? Yes. Did you understand? I'll teach you why I'm telling these things. Okay. So grouping property of addition. So, what do you mean by grouping property, dear? You already learned order property, right? Yes. Uh, Ma'am, I'm really urgent for toilet, so can I go? Yeah, yeah, go and come. I'll be waiting.
Ma'am. Yes. Grouping property of addition means what? While adding three or more numbers, just like this. Okay. The numbers can be grouped in any way. Okay. Here, what I'm doing, I'm just changing the order. But in this grouping property, I'm changing its group. Okay. Let me take this example. 456 plus 378 plus 175. So how I'm going to group this? So first I'm opening the bracket. I'll just write 456 plus 175. First I'll do this. Then I'm going to add it with 378. Okay. So other thing what I'm doing, I'm first taking 378. Then I'm adding this to 175. So I'm adding the answer to 456. Are you understanding what you mean by grouping? Yeah. So what I'm doing, I can do even in this way. I'll just keep this 456 as it is. So I'm grouping 378 plus 175. Okay. Now you tell me, will my answer change in this or will I get the same answer? I think the answer will be seen. The answer, why you are just thinking? You have to tell me confidently. My, um, the answer will not change. The answer will not change. As we are using the same digits. Yes, same digits. But we are just grouping it in the different, different ways. Did you understand what do you mean by grouping property of addition? Okay. So you have two properties of addition. One is order property and grouping property. In these two properties, the sum or else the answer will not change. Even if you change the order of the numbers or if you group it in different ways. Mm -hmm. Did you understand? Yes. Any doubts? No. No, 100%. Okay, why are you looking so dull to Danica? Uh, because it was hmm, it was my exam yesterday and I'm too eager because it was my English exam. Hmm. I'm too eager to know the points and also I'm a bit sleepy. You're feeling sleepy. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You just copy this down. So another 10 minutes I'll take class. Okay. After 10 minutes, we'll play some games. Yay. Okay. That's then nice. you have to write it fast. Note it down. Here you can write different ways of grouping. Okay. Grouping properties of addition. Um, while adding three, oops, added three. Next step three. Oh, no, what? No. So you just practice whatever I teach on that day itself because after this class, I'll be taking one more class. In that class, I'll be completing multiplication and division. Okay. After that class, you'll be having one test. Okay. Yeah. I'm telling you in prayer. That means you will give me again the, the same link. No, dear. It will be different link. Oh, I'm meaning like the same type of link. Yeah, same type. You're right.
at this time i am not going to help you okay okay done i'm in remains okay fast mm -hmm. sure example example you can take in your own ways it is not compulsory that you need to copy only this yeah, but okay. i want to copy the same example okay copy no issues with me bracket four Say seven five and the closing bracket. I'm not going to show you. Let me see. You first finish it off. I'll show you. You can cross check whether you have written it perfectly or not. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next is it done? I'm at the seven. I'm in the third one. I'm in the second one. Second. You have to do it fast. Okay, fine. Later you can write here. I'll give you time. Concentrate. So addition of zero. Okay. Whenever you add, you write in your own word. I'm going to teach. Okay. So what do you mean by addition of zero? If you have zero is like, like there is a number zero which has no value and we have to add something with it so so the number which has been added by zero we will get the exact same number correct perfect very then good that is multiplication we will get zero yeah what do you then what is the significance of addition of one we will get just we will get we will get just the number after the original digit that means what successor. you remember successor and then if you subtract one becomes predecessor correct perfect very good that is addition of one okay so you need to remember some important points regarding this addition okay so for example if you have given okay you have given the sum and one number to you Okay, then tell me, are you able to find out the other number? So I am giving you the answer and one number. You are going to tell me what is the other number. Did you understand what I am speaking? Yeah, fill in the blanks. Yeah, it is something like if we add 234 to a number, okay, I am going to get... 400 as the answer. So, so, what will be the other number? So, how we are going to do this? Here, are you using addition or subtraction? Which one you are using? Addition. Addition, are you sure? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, because 400 is a bigger number. Yeah, 400 is a bigger number. You didn't understand my point here. Just have a look. So what I'm doing, I'm adding 234 to some number. I don't know what is that number. So I'm just taking it as X. Right? Are you understanding what I'm telling? Yes. Okay. I'm just taking this as X. So... What they have given is, if we add 234 to a number, we get 400 as the answer. 
So if I add this two, I am going to get answer as 400. So what I am going to choose, I am going to write is, what I am going to calculate? I have to calculate what is x. So 400, I am writing it as it is. Yes. This 234, it is coming towards right hand side. So it will become minus 234. Did you understand? Oh, that is 234 plus 234. Plus 234. If you don't have any sign, it means that you have 234. Right? Yes. So I am taking this to the right hand side. So it will become minus 234. So x is equal to 400 minus 234. What is the answer? Hmm. So 10 minus 4 is? 10 minus 4. 6. 6. 6. 9 minus 3 is? Again 6. Again 6. Then, so what is the answer? Uh, 166, right? Oh, 166. So the number is 166. Did you understand? I know you are feeling so sleepy that you can't control. Right? Not yes either. or no? Yes, but not that sleepy. Not that sleepy. Okay. Any doubts in this addition, dear? No. No. Shall we go to the subtraction? Yes. Yes. But I cannot see that energy. Subtraction. Yeah. Now tell me what do you mean by subtraction? In simple words, you tell me. What do you mean by subtraction? Um, subtraction is a predecessor of its original number. Yes. Very good. Then, what and else you know it, about subtraction? It, it gives us a smaller number from a bigger number. Like example, mm -hmm. 5 is my bigger number. And if I minus it with 4, I, 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 I got 1. Second way of getting this answer one is I have five chocolates mm -hmm. and I have four friends and I don't want to eat the chocolate because the dentist said I cannot as I got a decay here. It's real. Oh, is it? Okay. And then and then I share the five chocolates. Mm -hmm. It's the leftover chocolates I have. It's the remainder. Like so four friends and I gave four chocolates to all of my four friends. One, mm. one chocolate to all of my four friends. Mm. And I'm left with the fifth one. So that means I have one. So that means if I subtract five minus four, it gives one. Second example could be mm. like I have 45 questions in a mm. test and I have done 20 questions. Hmm. Then I have to check that how much, that how many more questions I have. In this, we are not going to use hmm. subtraction. We are going to use difference. Hmm. Correct. The difference is that we have to check the gap between 23 and 45. Yes, perfect. Very good. So what is... What do you mean by this 45? Like, what is the position of this here? What can you call this 45 number in subtraction? Successor. You call it as minuend. Minuend. Yes. Let me, let me just, uh, let me just note it down. Yeah. This you call it as minuend. And this you call it as subtrahend. Ah. Uh, okay. So the answer which you get, you call it as difference. Okay? Let me just know that. Yeah. First, you just listen to me. I'll tell you what is this actually. Minuend is nothing but the greater number in your problem. Okay. Subtrahend is what? The smaller subtrahend, number. Subtrahend is the number that we're subtracting that minuend. That minuend. Yes. yes. So, this is your bigger number. Minuend is always the bigger, bigger. number. 
subtrend is always the smaller number. Whatever the yeah, result yeah. you get will yeah. be the difference. Yes, dear. Yeah. So does that mean that if the bigger number is in the second position, mm -hmm. then if the bigger number in is in the place of subtrand, then that means then that means the subtrand will be replaced with medium and then, then the other part will no it is not possible. Okay, let me give you that example. I have 92 over here. Okay. And I have 93 over here. So I'm putting a minus sign over here. So can I do 2 minus 3? No. So I am taking a carry forward, carry from this, right? 12 yeah. minus 3 I am doing. I am going to get some answer, but I cannot do 8 minus 9. So what I am doing? Sorry, getting a call. Yeah, let me just slime it. Yeah. Done. Keep my cell phone mute. Your cell phone is on mute. I didn't understand. I'll send it in the chat. Okay. So always the middle end will be the bigger number. It cannot be a smaller number. Okay. Did you understand? Yes. Okay. You have to write it fast. Done. Writing minimum and supply and difference. Why? Why? Why are you keeping it on mute? Are you getting calls? I may get again a call. I may get again. It's okay. No issues. <laughs> My mother was asking why am I going to keep my. No, I didn't understand. Why are you going to keep? My mother said that why am I going to keep it on mute? I told her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, dear. You can unmute. Even if you get call, no issues. Okay, but then I can only hear the call sound and that time you were explaining something then I could not hear you and I'm done writing. Okay, fine. Fine. So this is finished, right? Yeah. Now let us start with properties of subtraction. Okay. Okay. When are okay. we going to play the game? Yeah, we are going to play it after this. Today, I'm going to teach you only these properties of addition and subtraction. What so, we are going to complete. Topic? Yes, dear. What about new topic? New topic. This only, right? Properties or new topic? Yes or no? Okay. I thought it was just a revision. No, it is a new topic. So, today, you are going to complete exercise 2.1. You just write it somewhere. Yeah. 2.1. Yes. It will be on the PDF. Oh, okay. The Google Drive link, which they have sent you. Hmm? Okay. So, properties of subtraction. So, we have only two properties. Oh, when we subtract when... zero from. Any number, their difference is what? The difference is what, Anika? When we subtract zero from any number, the difference is? Um, it, it will be the same number. Yes, perfect. So, for example, if I subtract 40, 432 minus zero, I'll be getting 432. Yes. If I subtract some 1200 minus 0, I'll be getting my 2200 back, right? Yes, yes or no? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, next property is when we 
subtract okay a number from a number itself then the difference is what is the difference you are going to get difference is what um then you subtract number from a uh, number itself then the difference is zero yes always zero right yeah always yeah if i subtract 1 2 3 4 5 minus 1 2 3 4 5 we then i am going zero. to get zero if i subtract 2 3 4 5 6 minus 2 3 4 5 6 then i am going to get zero right and ma'am it looks like that that in the one that in the first example you gave me of this is one two three four five in the second example instead of one you added six yes correct okay so you have it is not a property it is just a remembrance so when we you already told me about this when we subtract one from a number we get its predecessor yes very good the difference is the predecessor ma'am but successor and predecessor was no. my favorite topic is it very good when did you learn that um, i learned it in school though mm -hmm. and then no mm -hmm. And then when my father put these classes, I again got to have a recap. Very good. So what is 6523 minus 1? 6523 minus 1, it's all about 6522. Yes, 6522. Two, two. Yes, very good. So these are the properties of subtraction. Oh, uh, can I note them down? Yeah, I'll give you time. Wait. I have to teach you one more uh, remembrance. Just you need to remember something. Okay. Things to remember. I can write the topic as things to remember for subtraction. So when we subtract the smaller number from a bigger number, we get a difference. Correct? Yeah. Okay. So what they'll do? If the difference is given to us, they have given us difference. And if the, if the difference is given to us and they'll give what the smaller number, smaller, sorry, spelling mistake. Smaller. Smaller number is also given to us. So, can you find bigger number is it possible can you find the bigger number? no are you sure that you are telling me no maybe no. maybe the menu end no let me tell you that for example i told you i'm not going to give you the menu end or a bigger number i'll just take that i'll just mark it as x okay so that they give they have given me a smaller number let me take the smaller number as 230. Okay. And that telling me if I do this too, I'll be getting the answer as something around 120. So what will be the bigger number? 230. Are you sure? No, dear. You just have a look what I'm telling you. See. So, they have not given me a bigger number, correct? They have given me a smaller number and they have given me a difference. So, I taught you in the addition, correct? So, if it goes to our right hand side, it will become minus. In the same way, if it goes to our right hand side, it will become plus. So, x is equal to 120 plus 230. Oh. Are you understanding? Yeah. So, what is the answer you are going to get in this? X is equal to what? X is equal to... 230 plus 100 is 330. 
330 plus 20 is? It's 50. So 350, correct? Yes. So the answer is 350. Did you understand? Any doubts? No. No? Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Now I have given you one instance. Now let me tell you one more. You just have a look. It is very important. See, here I told you difference is given to us and a smaller number is also given to us. For example, if they have given us a bigger number, okay, and difference, then can we find out a smaller number? I think yes. Yes. That means what? They have given me bigger number and they have not given me a smaller number. So they have given me what will be the difference. Correct? I'll just write it like this. Correct? So can I find what is this x? I think. Yes, right? Because this minus x, if I shift it to the right hand side, it will become plus x. Correct? If this 150, that is plus 150, if I shift to the left hand side, it will become minus 150. 120 minus 150. Correct? Okay. So, how, what, are the, what is the answer you are going to get? You will get 30. But in this example, which I have taken, 150 minus 120 is 30, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But in this example, which I have taken is, the difference is bigger number. So, my answer would be minus 30. Minus. Yeah. This I'll be teaching you in the further classes. So, you just remember, you have to put the sign. Ma'am? Yeah, dear, tell me. My father just told me that the minus numbers are negative and the numbers which are normal are positive. He just told me this much. Yeah, correct. So, that is what I was telling you. See, dear. So, here, while putting the answer, you need to concentrate on the number signs. So, 150 is a bigger number. 120 is a smaller number. Correct? So, for this 120, I have positive sign. Correct? For this 150, I have a negative sign. So, my answer will be in terms of negative sign. Yes. Did you understand? Yes. So, you are going to note this down. Okay? I will just erase this. You just note down this example. So, have you noted down this? No, right? Yes. I have not noted down. How about this, dear? Uh, yeah, this one I noted. This one? Yeah, this one is also noted. Okay, this one is also noted, right? Yeah. Okay. So, you have to start noting from here, right? Yeah. Yeah, note it down. Ma'am, do I also have do I also have to write the examples? Yeah, you can write it if you want. Or else if you read the statement and if you are able to understand, then no issues. I am able to understand it. Then no issues. I'll just check which exercise you need to do. Okay. So you are going to do um, exercise 2.1. You have addition and subtraction multiplication. In that exercise, you just do addition and subtraction. I have not yet taught you multiplication, right? I, I know multiplication already. You know multiplication, but yeah, multiplication. yeah, if you know, you can try. See, there's a multiplication sign here. Very good. I have seen it. Okay. If you know, you can do it here. Okay. But in the next class, I am going to teach you multiplication and division. 
इरेजर नहीं हम्म Is this done? Yanika, finished? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Is there any fourth point for me to? What year? Is there any fourth point for me to? Fourth point. Yeah, like. Properties of subtraction, only this three oh. is enough. Properties of addition. That's that. Yes. Dividend quotient remainder. What happened? I, I do anything. I no, I was just remembering the three points of division. Three points I'm of have, division. Like like in subtraction, it's minimum sub subtraction and difference. In division, in division, it's like dividend quotient and remainder. Yes, very good, awesome. Don't say awesome to me. So awesome to Miss Olivia, my class teacher. <laughs> okay, awesome to her also. Yes, write it fast. I already wrote. Oh, that also I have to write. Yes, obviously, <laughs> because based on this, you will get so many questions. Thanks. Are you understanding my teaching? Yes. Yes. Things to remember if the difference is given no. to Mm. As comma mm. can comma find mm. number mm. mark. Oh, so I also have to write the example. Yeah, you can write it down. Because it is important, right? Okay. Example mm -hmm. X minus two thirty equals two 
Yes, ma'am. Done. Done. Very good. Okay. So we'll just have a quick revision. What are the things we have learned in today's class? Okay. Okay. What happened? I'm a bit tired, but I still have some energy left. Wow, very good. Fine, dear. So today we have learned addition. Properties. And addition. It's properties. Just remember in addition. Then subtraction, properties. Then subtraction. subtraction. Things to remember in subtraction. Yes, and it's properties. Right? Yes. So addition, how many properties we have? Order property and grouping property. Correct? Yes or no? In subtraction, we have three properties. One is? One. In subtraction, we have three properties. One is minuend. Minuend? No, it is not a sub property, dear. You just have a look over here. When we subtract zero from any number, when we subtract okay, a number from itself. And now I remember. Yeah. So... When we subtract zero from any number, the difference is the original number. When we subtract zero from any number, number. then the when is the we, original number. Yes, correct. When we subtract one from any number, we are when going we to get the when we subtract a number from a number itself, then difference is always zero. Yeah. When we subtract one from a number, the difference is the difference is always predecessor of the number. Yes, when we subtract a number from the number itself. Right, these are the things we have learned today. Correct? Yeah, Any what? doubts in this? Yeah, this one, Doink. What's my yeah. homework? Homework, I told you, right? Oh, yeah, that's Exercise. Was I'll just write it down. You can note it 2.1. So, in this, you'll be having three divisions. You just do addition and subtraction in that no, I okay. wanted multiplication also yeah you can do but in the next class i'll be teaching you i'm going to tell you what are the things i'm going to teach you in the next class okay. i'm going to teach you multiplication and some problems some word problems based on multiplication and division okay okay so, you will be having some problems in addition and subtraction, something like this. So, two, three, then you will be having one box left. You need to fill it off. Then, one, four, three. Again, you will be having some box. So, here they'll be putting two boxes and they'll be writing eight and seven. Okay. So, you'll be having some problems similarly like this. Plus? Yeah, plus. Okay. You will be having the same problems, same kind of problems in both addition and subtraction. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Now, tell me what we'll do. We can play for five minutes. Um, can you play something of English? Yeah, shall we play this game? I don't know whether you know or not. Tic Tac Toe? Yeah. I know Tic Tac Toe. You know? Yeah. Then you have to give me a chance for writing. Yes, I'll be giving you. Yes, I have given you a chance. Okay. Yeah. One minute. One minute. When is the option coming? Yeah. Now I got the option. Oops, I need to draw. Okay, I am becoming a cross. Okay. I know the really real method of winning. Maybe I can win. Maybe you can win. Let's see. Okay, I am not going to win. Let you win so easily. I blocked you. I don't know if I'm going to win. Hmm. Or it may get drawed. 
Yeah. I won the match. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's play it again. Yeah. Oops. Come on, why isn't it raising? I need it to erase. Oh, you can also erase mine? Yes, because I'm the host. Yeah. yeah. You start. Do you, you want me to start? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I circle here. Okay, nice try. I won. Ah. Okay, let us play one more time. Right? You can erase mine if you want, but so far I'm, oops, I'm gonna erase mine. Come on. I wish I could erase yours. Yeah. Now you start. Okay. I'm going to make a cross this way. Make a circle. Then I'm going to make a cross. Yeah. Nice. Hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> it is. It's not a permanent marker. Okay. Yeah. One minute. Oh, thanks. You done? Yes. Okay. Then I do this place. I guess this game is getting out drawed. Yeah, draw. Now write D. What and you're drawing? I'm drawing a D. Yeah, done. It's drawed. Yes. You know, there's a very easy trick to draw a fish. Should I show you? Yeah, show me. It's a mathematical way. Mm hmm Okay, fine, as you wish. I'm just gonna draw some fours here. Mm. It may make your whiteboard a bit dirty though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, oops. Just potatoes. Thanks. Can you draw four? Okay, so an easy trick is. Now, all I need to do is make a curve like this. See? And she's looking behind. Here, all I need to do is like this. See? She's a girl. I mean, she's angry a bit. So she's yeah. like this. See? Look. Very nice. Thank you. The last one will be so big. He had this, and he is angry. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Let me just stop sharing my screen. Okay. Fine. So tell me, dear, how was the class? Did you enjoy? It was nice. It was nice. Only nice? Yeah, for now I'm not a bit too familiar. It's mm -hmm. almost a bye time. It's almost a bye time. Bye bye. Almost. Almost, yeah. It is almost. Fine. So oh, have you learned something? Huh? Have you learned something today? Yes. It's yes. addition, it's properties, subtraction, it's properties. Yes. So you are going to do a work. Okay. So before the next class. Fine. Bye bye. We'll see you in the next class. Bye. Bye.